Welcome everybody to Rainier Books. Join me on a little adventure because today on Friday, September 10, I'm going to head for Malmö in the south of Sweden. The first time in two years almost that I leave this city. And we're heading through the railway station very soon, which you can see behind me. And we're going down to track number 14 where the train leaves in about 25 minutes from now. So let's do this. Well folks, four hours and like 30 minutes later, I can say welcome to Malmö. Travel about 600 kilometers now by train, fully packed train, fully booked. Three people were wearing masks. I was one of them. The pandemic is over. It's not, but people do believe it's over. And we will get the receipt in about four to six weeks from now. Anyways, I'm heading now to my little hotel. Well, the fire department is playing its little symphony here. It's sunny, sunny afternoon. Sure. Welcome to the hotel here in Malmö. A little chair, I have a table, I have a TV. I have coffee makers here, I have a double bed, I have lamps, I have art on the wall. I overlook, what else, what do I overlook here when I look outside? A little part of the city and I am checking the bathroom. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, that's the bathroom. That's a standard room here and I think this goes for at the weekend now for 900 Swedish crowns, which is, oh my gosh, let me guess, it's 100 and 
10, 12 dollars, including breakfast. So here I'm going to stay for two nights now. So let's do a little mother walk. Friday afternoon here. For those of you who have never been to Sweden, uh, Malmö is the third largest city in the country. It's in, in the southwest, close to the um, Öresund, the big water that parts Sweden from Denmark. The city is about 400,000 people with suburbs. And um, from the three big ones, it's the smallest after Stockholm and Gothenburg, obviously, and um, it is also the city with the largest immigrant population in Sweden, at least from the big cities. Well, my bookish friends, let's take a look into the city library of Malmö and see what it looks like. Sunday morning and I'm standing here on the old post house square in Malmö, Sweden and behind me is the area where until 1999, 2000, 2001 lots of ferries made their way to Copenhagen to the Danish capital which is on the other side of the Öresund behind me but then in 1999 after a couple of years of building the Öresund bridge was built and this is the largest the longest bridge in Europe with 7,845 meters from 
start here in Sweden over an artificial island and then over to Denmark. So the ferry port has changed dramatically and even working places have changed dramatically in the last two or three decades here in Malmö. This was a shipbuilder town until 1987. The biggest employer was Kockums Shipbuilding Company and they stopped working in 1987. They were building lots of civil boats and ships and on, from the year of 1987 they were taken over by the state and since then they have only produced military uh, vessels. So this has changed dramatically but now we're heading into the harbor area and I show you uh, some pictures of this. So let's walk with me. Here you see the railway station and the camera is moving to the right now to the Malmo Burshus, a very fashionable conference center nowadays. One of the green uh, ecologic buses are in the picture now and here we have some art and we turn around to the harbor area where you see the what is left of the harbor because here were the boats that went to to Denmark I remember I think once or twice I did take the boat many many years ago from here but now there's almost nothing left oh there you can see what has become Malmo University uh, Malmo had never a university for many many decades many centuries because the university the famous University of Southern Sweden was always located in Lund which is only about 30 kilometers north of here so they were always the um, town where to study when you lived here. But now Malmö is a big city and it is the third largest in Sweden and they wanted to have higher education as well here. So they started the university, the high, the Högskolan, which is not a university, um, many years ago, but then it became a university just a couple of years ago. So this is Malmö, one of the places of Malmö University, which actually is situated on an artificial island here in the harbor of Malmö and opposite to this beautiful boat, the Peas and Sunny Beer Deck, where you can drink beer seven days a week. But I'm not going to have a beer, it's too early in the morning. Yes, and here the ferries would sail out to the open water, which is not so uh, wide here because like, I think it took about an hour to travel to Copenhagen on the water. Uh, and here on you, you see on the left side, a place they call Vesterhamnen, the Western port, part of the city, which is very newly built. It's 15 years old, maybe. And they also built it on an artificial island. It's pretty expensive to live there. Lighthouses always beautiful. Lighthouses not working anymore. It's more like a relic of old times here in, in the harbor. And in the background, I try to zoom it in now, is one of Malmo's most famous buildings. And it is called, um, that's called the Turning Torso which is actually uh, a building with apartments. I think now you can see it somehow above the big building. Uh, it's built uh, like a, uh, oh my God, like a screw. Uh, it turns around, it's a turning torso. It was built by an Italian architect. I will put the name into the video. Very interesting building, but I'm not gonna walk there, it's too far away. And my train back to Stockholm leaves in about an hour from now. It's time to say goodbye from Malmo to Malpa for this time. After two days here, the weekend is almost over. It takes me four hours, 45 minutes back, something like that. And I'm waiting for the train carriages to be opened and to take 
proceed and to read a little bit on in Natasha Brown's novel Assembly. More about that in another video. I hope that you enjoyed the trip and I hope that I see you very soon with a prediction video on about books that might make the long list for the National Book Award. There will be the longest will be published on Wednesday this week. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you stay tuned to the channel, but most of all, stay safe.